We're going to continue on with standard deviation, but we're going to do an example together now with standard deviation of a population. So we've introduced the standard deviation formula for the sample. Now remember, this is for population. So go ahead and write down this formula. Notation's a little bit different. And then remember, you don't divide by n minus 1, you divide by n. And that numerator is the sum of the variance. All right, go ahead and pause and write this down. All right, here's what we give you. We give you just a very um, quick example of standard deviation. I do want you to write this problem down so you get some practice doing it by hand. So here is our data set. We have some values 2, 5, 4, 6, 7, 5, and 6. So I just picked very small numbers to work with. And we have seven total numbers. The first thing that I like to do is I like to find the mean first. So you're going to add up all the numbers. 2, 5, 4, 6, 7, 5, 6, and then divide it by 7. So we get the mean of 5. Then what we're going to do is we're going to list those numbers and make a chart. So again, go ahead and pause so you can take some time to write down this chart. All right, so the first column is your data. That's your X. So our seven numbers are listed. I just put them numerically. And then the next column is we're going to subtract the data from its mean. So remember that mean was 5. So I'm just going to put the number 5 there. So I'm going to say 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Then 4 minus 5 is negative 1. 5 minus 5 is 0. 5 minus 5 is 0. 6 minus 5 is 1. 6 minus 5 is 1. 7 minus 5 is 2. All right, so we've taken each of the data values and subtracted it from its mean. Now the third column is we're going to square these numbers. So we're going to take negative 3 and square it. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Then we'll take, let me circle those, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Then we're going to take 0 squared is 0. 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. All right. So those are our differences from the mean squared. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and total up the last column. So we're going to add 9 and 1 and 0 and 0. So if we're at 10, 11, 12, and we get 16. That number right there is our variance. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and write down that total. Our variance equals 16. Now we're going to go ahead and take that variance, so that's our total, divided by how many data set points we have. We have seven of them. So 16 divided by 7 is approximately 2.28. Five, seven. And now you're going to square root that number. So we're going to take the square root of 2.2857 and we get approximately 1.511. This is your standard deviation. What we did is we just used that formula step by step. So you'd say the standard deviation is approximately 1.511 deviations from the mean. And that was just using the formula right there.